All right, today my batteries came in for that E28 instrument cluster. So first things first, we want to check and make sure this actually has voltage. I'm going to use our ohm meter here. Switch to voltage, DC. So I do want to make sure that these are charged. Not, I'll charge them up real quick before I install them. Uh, negative is going to be two prongs side positive is the one prong side so we're looking for 1.2 volts i don't know if i'll be able to get all this in apologize for the poor lighting i just got off work and it's dark let's see we have 1.2 volts 1.254 actually let me see if i can all right there we go and then battery number two let's check One point two four five. All right, these batteries are fully charged, so they're good to go. I'll go ahead and solder them in place. All right, we've already run into a problem. So these little metal dealios are too short. When I try to put them on where they go, they don't clear that circuit board. So that's a problem, right? Let me put this down on something soft or something here. All right, all right. So as you can see, I try to put those things in the hole right where it goes. It's contacting that chip. Isn't making it in a hole. However, what I can do, I've already pulled the one off the negative of my old battery, this dude, which is quite a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is clamp this dude onto this dude. Oh, I flipped it around. Like right there, you can see it makes it much longer, and it should clear. So, I'm just going to solder this onto that, and then solder it onto the board. So, I'll uh, cut back when I get Alright, the soldering was not filmed, because it was a royal pain in the ass to do. But they're both in now. Focus. So on this one I had to roll the battery over that board to get it to fit so I could solder the positive. And on this one what I did was I took the original uh, dealio that went down to the board since the new ones are too short. Soldered it on, soldered it to the board. And then on this one, I just left everything stock. Left it stock, like I said, I, I rolled that one forward, so it is contacting that chip, but you know, whatever. And then that one is kind of hanging down, so if you look, because I didn't replace that one. It's lopsided, contacts that chip, but... Um, I soldered them on the back here. I checked the uh, voltage reading and they're both reading 1.245 I believe or thereabouts. So the batteries are connected. They do have power. So they should work when I put everything back together. The odometer will for sure. The only thing I'm skeptical of is I can't see it here but when this battery leaked its acid everywhere it took out one of the resistors. See, this, on this side, there's two resistors. This big dude and that little dude. On this side, one of the resistors is missing. It's where that acid mess is. 
you look down there, you can see a piece of it between the battery. So, I don't know what it's for. I don't know if that's going to prevent the instrument cluster from working properly. But we'll know soon enough. So, if I put it back in and only the odometer works and the speedometer works like before, despite the batteries being hooked up properly, then the problem is it's going to need a new board. Uh, we're hoping that's not the problem. It's probably going to be what happens. So I'm pretty sure uh, BMW thought that resistor needed to be in there for some reason. Or it wouldn't have been there in the first place. So, we'll see. Put it back together and uh, go from there. Well, that was an ordeal. Well, one of my positive, the first one, the battery I soldered, the positive came loose. When I was manhandling the uh, gauges back into the board. So we edited a lot of stuff out because I'm getting impatient and uh, aggravated with this thing. This should not have been as difficult as it was. If it was only odometer fix, this would have been a breeze. But all that damn soldering and everything, getting it back together, it's a pain in the ass. So it should work. The odometer will most certainly work. Well, it'll definitely work. The speedometer was working before, so that should work. Now, we don't know if that uh, burned out uh, resistor is going to cause the other things to not work despite having the new batteries in there. So we'll know soon enough uh, whenever either something doesn't work or a couple things doesn't work or we have twitchy somethings. But we'll know soon enough. Since this is done now, it's all back together. I just got to put it in the car. Plug all the crap on the back up. Put it back in the car. Put the new plugs in. Try to start it. Once it starts and it runs, I'm, then I'll uh, put the fan clutch in. And we'll be golden. Boom, done. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.